simple maintenance 101. Here we go. We're going to learn how to clean this swimming pool today. And anybody that uh, needs to know how can can go to YouTube and they can pull up uh, the thing. So number number one, I'll talk you through this. Number one, you have to pull this up. That's that's a filter trap, and then pull the basket out. Pull the basket out, and then just tap it over there. Just tap it and leave it out. And then you're going to take this thing here and you're going to inspect it to see if it's dirty inside. If it's dirty inside, we're going to have to clean it. The light one or the dark one? The, the, uh, this one? the one with, yeah, that one. Let's bring it over here and inspect it. I figure I'm going to give it one more chance to get away from me. Yeah. And if I'm going to away, then if I thought in two days, I'll, I'll It looks pretty dirty, doesn't it? Well, yeah, I would yeah, say so. All right, so next thing you're going to have to unscrew that thing on there. Unscrew that. And pull it off. And then pull the uh, blue thing out of there. Is there a screw to it? Or just no, it just pulls out. <laughs> It takes strength, and sometimes you, sometimes you have to tap it like to get it out. There you go. Two people work better than one. All right, now grab the uh, mesh net and come over here and let's uh, hose her off. Hose it off. Yeah. I don't know what happened to the extra hose we had here. Let's. Uh, I think it's all the way on the other side. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Oh, here it is. Okay. Let me turn the water on. Okay, the water's on. So I'm turn that one yeah, yeah. on. Okay. Oh, cool. Oh, nice. So now just rinse that uh, basket out. So whoever cleans the pool, they should really clean this after they clean the pool. So the next person that comes along, it's there, it's ready to go, you know. Right. Kind of like a limp catcher and dryer. You know, yeah, ready to go. Right? Yeah, it That's should be ready to go to roll. roll. Yeah. yeah. All right, make that clear. All right. <laughs> All right. Continuing with pool cleaning 101. Turn water off. Yeah, turn the water off. Thank you, assist. And uh. Uh oh. Now we're going to take this and probably ought to rinse, rinse this out too, I guess. Oh wait, Tina. Rinse oh, that out. Hard labor, Donnie, watch out. <laughs> okay, you got that cleaned out. Good deal. Now we're going to reassemble it. The reassembly process begins now. It goes like that, yeah. You may have to like tap it kind of with your palm to get it on there. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Now you got the technique. <laughs> that back on there screw it back on there you go all right now we're next step is we're going to uh, take this and insert the uh, the net into into this inlet hole over here and then down into here what? so put that in the water and take the uh, just let the let the let this end hang free, just hang in the water, and just grab the end of the hose. You should just have the end of the hose. And now uh, put that down in this back hole. No, it's got to go through this thing here. You've got to put it in through there. No, no, through that through there. Oh, there you go. Oh, okay. And then put it in the back hole. Back hole. You get suction going now. 
Now hold this under water so it doesn't suck just air. We want to get that filled with water. All the way in the water. There you go. Christina, yeah. could, could you hold this while I show her the, ne the next step? Yeah. Thanks. Just, just for video us doing this. So the next thing you need is uh, to put this. This goes down in the water now. Do I let this go? Uh, yeah, you can let it go. From all the side, you guys. Oh, oh you got to. came out. Yeah, you can grab it and put it back in the back hole there. All the way down in there. There you go. You got it? All right, good deal. Yeah, you got it. Now, let's put this down in the water. Now, you, what you want to do is you want to start feeding that hose into the water. Take the hose and start feeding it into the water, too. So yeah, get right down at the water level. Yeah, get it all submerged and get purge out. You want to purge as much air out of it as you can. There you go. Now the next step, if we're almost there, is to take this and plug it into the other end of this. Plug that into there. There you go. There you go, you got it. Now, let me just demonstrate real quickly. You want to, with this with this, this stick, you want to keep constant downward pressure so you keep the sweeper flat on the bottom, always flat. Mm -hmm. And just move it very slowly so you don't raise dust. Here, I'll let you take over. And, and, and just sweep across there. It needs a weight or something, right, yeah, Donnie? Yeah. Right. It's got some rocks on that bitch. <laughs> and all you're going to have to do is just sweep this one little part right here. That's all it needs sweeping today. Sometimes the entire pool needs sweeping, but today, since it was just vac yesterday, it only needs part partly uh, swept. I don't know what this object is right here. There's some kind of object down there. Kids toy or yeah, yeah, some kind of kid's toy. There's another kid's toy right there. Are you good at diving, Chelsea? Uh, I don't have the ears for diving. Oh, you don't? Okay. I'm good at it, but I don't like it. We won't I ask you to get dive in there then. No, no longer does it professionally anyway. But you, Christina, are you a good diver? You know, I actually don't have the ears for it either. Yeah. <laughs> Both grew up on yeah. the beach. So, you know, you not a not a single head. diver among us. Yeah. Group. Okay, Bill. So basically, you're done now. Or unless you see some more dust down there. No, it's not dust. Oh, there's some more over here, though. Oh, okay. All right, so now you need which pile? Oh yeah, get these that little pile of dust right there. Remember to keep it flat and go slow. Keep it flat on the flat on the uh, bottom of the pool and go very slowly. Up if I go backwards? Yeah, it'll go suck no matter which direction you go. The key is to go slow and keep it flat on the bottom. Keep the downward pressure on it. Alright. So now the next step is to pull it out of there and be very careful when you pull it out that uh, you don't do it in such a way that all the debris falls back into the pool. Because oh. it happens about 50% of the time, so. 
You'll have to do, you don't, then you'd have to sweep it all over again well, if it all fell great. back. Huh? Those odds aren't great. Yeah. <laughs> well, the odds increase if you, if you know that's likely to happen. Because you'll be more careful when you pull it out. Okay, so go over here by the, by the filter trap hole and pull the whole pole out. And then after you pull the pole out, very quickly pull that out, but hold it together so the hose doesn't come off of it, okay? So step one, pull the, pull the uh, pole out. Yeah, this is a swift motion. Just say it one more time. Pull the pole out uh -huh. and set it down. Okay. And then grab both hoses and pull them out of the hole and pull, pull those out so they don't accidentally fall back into there, okay? Am I pulling it out of this hole at the same time? Yeah, yeah. Just get that up and out of the water. There you go. Now set it down. Now, very quickly, grab both, both ends and pull that out of the suction, pull it out of the suction hole. Now pull it, now pull it out this way. Yeah, get the end out of the pool. Yeah, pull it out there. There you go. You got it. Now you've successfully gotten it out of the pool without, uh, without uh, letting all the debris go back in. Now you still, there's still a risk because you're close to the pool of debris going back in the pool. So you want to get that thing away from the pool. A practical Take now just, apart again? Yeah, just go ahead and clean it now and it'll be ready for the next person. Yeah, for an assist here. All oh, right. <laughs> Get your water. Now we're cleaning the filter now. And then clean out the net, and we're ready to go to the next, the next phase. There's more. Okay. All right. We can turn the water off now and uh, go to the next thing. Just put the pool, pool uh, stuff off to the side there so it's not on the concrete. You can just put it there with those pool floats and things. There you go. Be careful of this. It's kind of delicate, the end of it, the way it's attached, so move it uh, very gingerly. Now, now the next step is to uh, place the basket back in the hole. Put the basket back in the hole. And put the cover back on. Now let's go up to where Jeffrey is. We're going to have to turn off the uh, turn off the pump for the next phase. Oh. We're going to go turn off the pump here. Cool. It's going to be worth it here in a minute. It is. All right, and go up there and see where it says, uh, see where those two green switches are? Turn those two green switches off. These are blue. The blue, the blue switches. Both yeah. of them? Yeah, both of them. There you go. All right, now the pump's off. Let's go down to the pump now. We're going down to the pump. This will be a complete instructional video. Okay, so now... <laughs> now you've got to find this black handle thing. Which is somewhere around here. Is that it? Yeah, that's it. Grab that. Oh, there's spider webs. 
You know, you're gonna work, be working over. Right you're gonna be working over here. Here, I'll will get you, will that. You grab that. Yeah, no problem. There you go. All right. Now take that and put it around this. See this thing? Yeah, I see. I see. And put that around and turn it. Turn it to the uh, Open. other way. Other way. Other way. Now turn it toward you. You probably want to use use both hands so it doesn't slip from you. Okay. So keep turning. It. Keep turning. It. Take it all the way off. Pull it off. Now just take the basket and tap it out like you did that other basket. You know, get all the leaves and stuff out of it. Pull it out. Pull it out. Tap it out. There you go. Got all the stuff out of it. Now put it back in. Mm -hmm. stuff in it. Yeah. Huh? Yeah, you can. Yeah. Thanks. Oh, it goes to the hole goes to where the pipes are. There you go. That's, that's the way it goes. Okay. Now, now, see that blue handle down there? Blue handle right below you. Okay, mm -hmm. turn that so the water stops flowing. You're gonna need, need to use both hands. Left probably. or right? It goes to the toward you. Yeah, I don't know about this part. Maybe it goes away from me. I forget which way it goes. It goes one way or the other. Just one way it'll go. All right, you did it. Great. Now now you can screw this on with less effort, this uh, lid. There you go. It doesn't have to be super tight. That's fine. And now turn the handle back so the water will keep flowing. All right, that's that's done. Now we'll go turn the pump back on. Let's go turn the pump back on now. And Tina is doing the, the, the one other thing that you rarely need to do, which is basically a little bit of skimming. <clears throat> hey, Andrew. Ah, there we go. All right, so the pump is back on. Pump is on. All right, so now there's one more thing uh, you need to know about. And there's a brush somewhere. Where's the brush? Oh, there's the brush. Here, I need your help again, Christina. Yes. I'm going to dem demonstrate the brush technique. It should be called the Paul technique. The pool doesn't need brushing very often. And you're supposed to do this a lot, but we, we don't do it that much. But uh, basically, the technique for brushing is you first you come down to the shallow end and you go all across and you push all the, mm. the dust and stuff toward the deep end of the pool. I feel like this should be done before the filtration process that we first started with? Because it, it's probably after is better because when you do this, it clouds up the pool and you can't see. Oh, the see brushing? Well. Yeah. Oh. So anyway, that you do that. Do you do it on the side? Yeah, and then the side, you just go all around the pool like this, and you go down with it like that. I'll let you try it. There you go. <laughs> it doesn't really need it that bad, so we're just going to demo it today. All right. <laughs> Not bad. Let's see. Is there anything else? Oh, the other only other thing is this trap over here. You need to check it, and it, it's rarely rarely gets uh, stuff in it, but occasionally it's got stuff. This uh, this other trap over here. All right. Well, let me put this back. I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Oh, 
I'll show you the uh, I'll show one. The last thing I'll show you is I'll demo you the sh the technique for shocking the pool. Okay. Right, Jeffrey? Yeah. We're good. We're good there. Okay. Okay. Here you go, Christina. This is how this is how you shock the pool. I'm not going to shock the pool really heavy. I'm just going to put a little bit of shock in it. Well, Christina and I are going to get in and swim in it. So we can no, I'm just going to show you. Okay. With a tiny, I'm just going to put a tiny little bit of shock in it, which won't affect anything. But yeah. normally you fill this twice. Okay? Twice? Yes. Yeah. And then what? make sure you get this. What you do is you go around the edge like this, see? And just go like this. I'm just demoing shots. Okay. I'm just putting a tiny little bit of shock in it, okay? Normally you put two full scoops in it. Okay. And that's when the when the water gets green. Right now it's pretty perfect. And how long should individuals wait before getting in the pool after a full shot? At least two hours. Okay. Yeah. Two but hours. This doesn't count. This doesn't count as shock, so. It's going to poison us a little bit. <laughs> that, that concludes. That, that concludes our uh, Pool Cleaning 101 starring Chelsea. <laughs>